each other burn the Quran in Norway. I will give you glad tidings. How just read the history. How many people tried to destroy Islam? People burned mosques, burned libraries, burned uh, Muslims. What happened? They're gone in the bin of history. And Islam is still saying and is still spreading. People still accept Islam. You know why? Because Islam belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you burn in the Quran, alhamdulillah, it's better than for the Quran to be in your dirty hands. You burn it's better than to be in your dirty hands. But bear in mind, you burn in the Quran, you are aiding the Muslims to spread Islam in Norway. We know people are accepting Islam in Norway and you cannot fight it, so you have to do something which is disgusting. And this is the way of the foolish one, the one who have no study, they never been in school. Instead of debating with us, arguing with us, you go burn the Quran. Alhamdulillah, we don't burn the Bibles. Have you seen Muslims in the in the Muslim countries say us burn the Bibles? No. We don't do that. Because why? We know Islam is the truth. And we know any falsehood religion will not overpower Islam by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my glad my, my glad tiding to you, which is not glad tiding, it's very bad news for you, but it's a glad tiding in a way to make you more depressed and distressed that Islam will be will spread more and more people will accept Islam without any sword or spoon or fork by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And look what happened to Tatab. Crusades, crusades came to the Muslim countries. They tried to destroy Islam. What happened to them? They've been destroyed and Islam still there, alhamdulillah. So you're not special. Barakallahu <laughs> fikum. So this is a glad tidings for the Muslims. That, no, and all my Muslim brothers and sisters, we need to someone burn the Quran, don't go punch him. No, no, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for reaction. Walk away. Of course, we get angry without any doubt, but we have to be smarter than them because they wanna they wanna do anything to make us angry. Then when we, when we react, they say, "Look, violence, violence." The best reaction is to expose the double standard. Okay. The best reaction is to expose the hypocrisy. Why? As Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned in the Quran, bihi jihad and kabira. Allah said, "Do jihad with it." Great jihad, which is it? The Quran. This verse was reviewed in Mecca, and this Ibn Qayyim said the greatest jihad with a pen, because anyone can pick up a sword and go fight, but with a pen and the logical argument and the best speech is very rare. People can do it. Yes, but they want to say something. I just want to ask because the narration for Professor Salam, if you cannot change Arabic by hand, change it by 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 heart. So if you cannot change by, by mouth. So yes, yes. So if you cannot change by by mouth, yeah. Uh, it's like it with your heart. Yes, yes. yes. So in this case, it's like telling us that if you see someone hurting us as a Muslim, yeah. you should attack them. No, no, doesn't say the hadith. Hadith speaks about, for example, now if I see someone drinking alcohol in speaker's corner and smoking drugs, the hadith change with your hand doesn't apply to me. It applies to people's authority. Understand? So this hadith has to be understood according to the Prophet Muhammad teaching and according to the companions and the scholars. Understand? Now if you see my son in my house doing something evil, you can change it with your hand because you know the person of authority, I'm the person of authority in the house. Understand brother? So this hadith talking about there is levels of people. In your house, you are able to change it with your hand. If your uh, son doing evil, you stop it with your hands and stop it. Okay? Outside your house, that is for the government to do that, it's not for you. Understand? Maybe if it's your friend and you can change it with your hand in a good way, yes. So we are in a non-Muslim country, there is a law, so we have to follow the law. You understand? We cannot change with our hand. What we do, we can speak to him, try to reason with him, because listen, walk away from him. Because sometimes his silence is louder than his speech. And it burns them more. Silence. So you walk away from him, because why you tell him, Alhamdulillah, you are burning the Quran because your dirty hand doesn't deserve it. No, but I'm not saying, I make him more angry. James, you just say that you used to work your mouth a bit, yeah. which is jihad more than anything. Yeah. So when you hear this hadith, the first idea came to your mind, changing my hand means fight, oh, so which, the, the, is not the true, which is not true. Using your hand to write, using your hand yeah, yeah. to change things. Yeah, yeah of course. Right. I physically, said that, it doesn't I said mean that, that because right. many Muslims, they can write to the There's Bible. Yeah, yeah, the right. It doesn't change right. the right. So, sorry, so, 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 they give, right. they give rights to the Muslim who attack that person. That Muslim who attack that person who burn the Quran because you know. Well, of course, it burns us without any doubt. But I can burn heart. You know, of course, we uh, look to uh, uh, the us learn from the the the, the, the Sahaba and Prophet Muhammad Sallam. Prophet Muhammad Sallam was in Mecca, okay, and while he was praying, Abu Jahl and other uh, Arab pagans they went and you know after the she came and gave birth, Naka. You know, uh, what do they call it? The placenta. What do they call it? Placenta. placenta comes out, yeah? So they picked it up and they put it on the back of Prophet Muhammad Abdullah ibn is watching it. And he said, I couldn't do nothing because I have no power. 
شو شو كان فاطمه فاطمه رضي الله عنها وارضا شو كان ان بيكسي اب ان موفي في محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ان شي ستارش ربيوكينج ذيم يو نو سو اجين عبد الله بن سعود واز ذير باي كود بيكوز واي ذيس اف ذا اوثورتي هيز ليفن اندر ذا اوثورتي يو انديستاند اند ذا بيست واي از تو اكسبوز ذيم تو شو ذيم دبل ستاندرد يو نو ذا لوك واي دو ات اوكي ناو ذي ساين وي ار انجس اسلاميزيشن اوف يوروب يا يا ما ولا فورس ان هو تو بيكم مسلم الوالد <تصفيق> المغيره <تصفيق> ذهبوا الى مزبله التاريخ they went into the bin of history واحد محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم الله raise his name high you know الله how many people love prophet محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ابو جهل the... he went to the bin of history ابو ان شانئك هو الابتر anyone who is the enemy of prophet محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم if he's not make توبه الله will cut off his name اخي prophet محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم always in adhan اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله the most popular the most popular name in britain is muhammad الله اكبر يو نو ان يو سي ماني نون مسلم اكسبت الاسلام لي نون مسلم ذا فاملي ار نوت مسلم ذن هاف بين ذا هاف نوت بين فورس تو ذا اكسبت الاسلام اند ذا ار ويل اديكيت الحمد لله يو نو سو وي هاف تو دو ذا كوريكت واي ذا كوريكت واي از ام نوت الاو تو تاتش ويز ماي هاند بيكوز ذا از فور ذا غفرمنت تو دو ذات يو نو ايفن شو جود ايمج اسلام ذا از ا بيرسون از ا بريتش سيتيزن او ا نو واي فروم نون واي او اني كونتري ار اكسبت ذا لو ام نوت غونا تاتش ويز ماي هاند ايفن ذا مسلم كونتريز It's not for you to touch them with your hands. It's for the government as well, you know. So we have to show them the best way is to expose their double standard. They keep talking about um, uh, uh, killing innocent people. Islam, we are against killing innocent people regardless in a Muslim country or a non-Muslim country. You know, barakallahu feekum. Jazakum Allahu khair. Is that clear, Akhi? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too, so please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.